Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel schoolquiz.com. My name is Tanish Agarwal. Today we will discuss our chapter number 4 of class 9 CBSE that is chapter structure of atom. It's very very important and easy chapter. It's very very important from the paper point of view and those students who are going to study science in class plus 1 plus 2 it's also important for them. Okay, now we will discuss that is chapter number 4 chapter number 4 that is structure of atom structure of atom okay as we have already discussed that what is an atom what is an atom atom is the smallest particle of an atom what is atom atom is the atom is the atom is the smallest smallest particle of an element atom is the smallest particle of an element in this video we will study how what is the structure of atom basically is basically what is structure of atom like atom is made of, in atom it, there is uh, there is presence of protons electrons neutrons etc so we will study about that there were number of scientists like rutherford thomson bohr model who discovered the total structure of atom like first of all we will study what is a basically a structure of atom is if we talk atom atom suppose inside there is presence of nucleus inside is there is presence of nucleus and this is called as orbits this is called as orbits this is called as orbits orbit is what where electrons revolve orbits are what where electrons are revolved orbit is what where electrons are revolving like right electrons like second orbit here is electron and electron is what electron is electron is negatively negatively charged species electron is negatively charged species and there are two terms two subatomic particles proton proton and neutron proton and neutron are inside the nucleus of an atom are inside the nucleus of an atom that is proton and neutron as we know as we know proton is what proton is positively charged positively charged species proton is what positively charged species whereas neutron is neutron is neutral neutral charged species neutral where there is no charge like it is neither positive nor negative from p we can remember that p from p is proton p is positively n is neutron and n is n is neutral n is neutral and as we already know nucleus is nucleus in nucleus two species are present first one is proton and first one is and second one is neutron as we as i have already told you that neutron is neutral species that it has no charge it has no charge so nu, nu, in nucleus two atomic part two subatomic particles are present neutron and proton neutral charge is zero neutral charge is we consider like zero because it is neutral so only positive charge is available that is we can say that nucleus is nucleus is positively charged nucleus is positively charged nucleus is what nucleus is positively charged or we can say that nucleus is positive charge okay now next main thing one more thing that neutron neutron and proton their combined name is nucleon neutron and proton both regarded as nucleon neutron and proton both regarded as both regarded as nucleon okay now we will take an example we will take an example we will discover we will discover all the 
we will study all the scientists like who made the discoveries of atom like thomson rutherford bohr who tell who told about the structure of an atom okay one by one but basically the structure of atom is like that and we will study one by one all the three scientists suppose we take an example of carbon 6 carbon 6 so it is 2,4 it is 2,4 and 6 is what 6 is the atomic number 6 is the atomic number of the of the element or we can say that atom or we can say that atom okay 6 and atomic number indicates atomic number indicates number of number of protons number of protons in an atom number of protons in an atom that is z that is z z is our number of protons in an atom or we can say that it is also the number of electrons number of electrons as we study that like sodium is plus 1 chlorine cl minus like it lose one electron and gain one electron so basically is there will be 10 electrons left but number of protons will remain same when an ion forms there will be number of protons will be same only number of electrons changes only number of electron changes like for example in chlorine 18 electron will be there and proton number remains same that is 17 proton number remains same that is negative one you you have to remember that that the number of electrons change but number of protons or number of neutrons remains same number of protons or number of neutrons remains same now we study our first model that is thomson model of an atom very very important thomson model of an atom this is our introduction video but i think we should include thomson model of an atom because it's very because it is very small model because this topic is short so we will study here thomson's model of atom thomson's model of atom he it is he is the first scientist he is the first scientist who states that atom is atom is always neutral atom is neutral atom is neutral as we see like carbon 6 there are six protons and six electrons as positive charge is equal to negative charge which means atom is atom is or we can say that atom is electrically neutral atom is electrically electrically neutral atom is electrically neutral he take the example of like watermelon he take the example of like watermelon he said suppose it is a watermelon it is a water melon and it is the all all edible part which we have, which we eat it is the all edible part red part edible means which is which we can eat okay edible part and as we know in watermelon their seeds are present seeds are present like it is a, these are the seeds these are the seeds like these are the seeds so he stated that he stated that that all red part all red edible part all red edible part is taken as is taken as positive sphere is taken as positive sphere where where seeds will seeds will act as act as negative charge where seeds will act as negative charge thomson at 
in thomson's models there was no talk about neutron because at that time discovery of neutron was not taken yeah was not okay discovery of neutron was not there at that time so he just talks about proton and electron he said he said atom is a atom is a positive charge sphere positive charge sphere in which in which electrons electrons are present electrons are present atom is a positive charge sphere in which electrons are present and and say and atom is atom is electrically electrically neutral electrically neutral so this is all about thomson's model of an atom in which he says atom is electrically neutral and in atom there is a positively charged sphere in which electrons are embedded in which negative charge like electrons are embedded so it is all about thomson's model of an atom he gave the example he compared his model with watermelon and as well as christmas pudding christmas pudding like it's a cake in which he also compares his model with christmas pudding so this is all about the introduction of the video so chapter number introduction of the chapter 4 that is structure of atom in which we we talked about what is what actually the structure of atom is and the important model that is thomson model of an atom in the next video we will discuss our rather fourth model of an atom which is very very important rather fourth model of atom which is very very important so i hope you like my video please share it with your friends thank you